testing one, two, three. I'm trying the camera with the light. I don't know how bright it is, so let's see. Oh my god, I just checked it and my baking looks unbaked! So I had to fix it. Now I'm gonna check if this is okay. Okay, we're just gonna roll with it. Because, you know, I've accepted the fate that my baking looks... Ah! Looks mad nasty with uh, the lights on. But... Oh, I'm still filming. Okay, this is such a fail video. But if you guys are wondering, um, today I am planning to do a fresh impression on the peach, yeah, the peach uh, misting spray. Because as you can see, I have my all my makeup done and I want to see like how well it lasts throughout the day. And I have an hour and a half to kill right now. So I thought, you know what, might as well do a video for you guys. And this light is blinding as fuck, oh my god. If you guys want to see, I want to thank Nasa as well, again. Look at how blinding that is. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you, but oh my god. It's amazing. I'm so happy that she got me this. Alright, so I got the product here. And the reason why I am doing a fresh impression on this is because one, the 30-day return refund thing is almost up. And if I don't like it, you know, I can always return it and get my full refund. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, I was intrigued by this because one, it smells like peach. And I love scented things, if you guys don't know. Like sometimes even in my hauls, you'll notice that I would pick up even like a powder and just sniff it. I don't know what it is, but scented makeup for me is a plus. As long as it's not floral, I love any fruity, sweet, whatever. But anyways, this thing here, it retails for $40 from what I know. And I think I'm like the last person to do a review on it, I'm sure. But uh, we'll see what it's all about. So it says right here, this refreshing peach and sweet fig cream infused cream infused setting spray locks down makeup with our exclusive comfort matte finish and helps control oil for a comfortable weightless feel that lasts all day. Um, right now I'm using the Urban Decay D Slick, but I feel like um, this one is good. Um, I have no complaints about it. Um, when I do spray it, initially it is quite like wet, so. I'm just like, oh, okay, like, I like it a lot, but this is five years old. I know it's nasty, but if there's a little bit of liquid gold still left in there, I thought, I, I'm the type I like to use up all my makeup, and unless I don't like it at all, then I will give it to a friend. But, yeah, I have no complaints about this, so I kind of want to compare the two. So let's see here. And, ah, I'm going to open up the box in a way where I'm not going to ruin it. The packaging is really pretty. It's super cute. Ooh, okay. So it says Shake Me Baby. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like gold inside. Do you guys see that? And I really hope that the lighting is okay because I literally can't see myself even in the video finder thingy because I'm blinded. So anyway, so it says here, um, Shake Well holds six to eight inches away from face and directly onto skin. Well, all right then, let's do this. Okay. Mmm. You know what it smells like? It smells like the Calgon, like, you know when you were younger, you used those um, Ralph Lauren slash Calgon collab perfumes. It smells like that. It's not too strong. If anything, it smells like a candy peach. I like it. Um... I'm looking at my face right now. There's no white spots, which which I am happy for, and there's no like um, droplets of the mist, which I like because this one, when I use it, I can see like the wet spots, and it takes a while to dry. But yeah, it looks totally fine. I'm gonna just spray a little bit more, just so you know I can get my money's worth. So let's just focus it on a T zone. Ow. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm just initially the scent of it and everything. I like it already. But we're going to leave this on the whole day cuz this whole day I am just going to be at work. But I am kind of come on. I'm going to come back and let you guys know what I think. Um but so far so good and there's no stinginess or anything. It looks like um super weightless. There's no shine which I like, so 
we shall see. But if we were to compare the milliliters, it's the same milliliters, even though this one is taller, don't be fooled. Um, they're the same amount. And the Urban Decay de Slick, let me actually check the price for that one, just so we can do a little comparison, because that's all I got. And yeah, I'm full of energy because I was walking in the cold, like, coming home. Because I thought I started work early, but then I don't start for another two hours. I was like, shit. Okay. Oh, so $40 as well. Okay. Wow, they are basically the same. Hey guys, so I'm at work. Don't mind the setting. But I'm looking at the face and I've had it on for at least about five hours so far and it looks pretty good. It looks like my makeup is still fresh. And honestly, this section, I cannot take it off for the life of me because I was tearing up and then later I guess when I was baking it now it's set like that so so sad but whatever it is what it is but yeah so far it looks really good I think I know what my reaction is gonna be but we're gonna let it stay on for the rest of the day and then you guys are probably gonna hear back from me like around 11 or so so yeah Oh yeah, and for people who are wondering if the peach scent is still sticking on, it isn't. I don't smell it anymore, so it's not going to be something that's going to make you smell like peaches for the whole day. I totally forgot to do an outro to my fresh impression. I'm so sorry. I was literally like washed up in bed and I was thinking, shit, I forgot to tell you guys how I thought. So at the end of the day, I felt like honestly my makeup was matte throughout the whole day. Um, it could differ in the summer though, so if you guys want to see how that goes in the summer, subscribe and you'll see it in a vlog or something. But yeah, I felt like my makeup stayed intact. Um, it didn't feel greasy at all. My face was never shiny. And I'm not sure if it's from the spray, but throughout the day I did notice like there was like one or two white spots. It could be because, you know, my baking was not the best, but um, is anyone in here? No, because <laughs> that would have been awkward. Um, the, but yeah, like I felt like the spray was great. Um, the peach scent wasn't overwhelming. It didn't go all the way throughout the day, but I highly recommend it. I do like it better than the Urban Decay one. So if you're looking for a nice setting spray and you have oily skin like me, check out the Too Faced one. Um, I'm not sure if it's a limited edition because I know like they have their different lines. Um, so I might stock up if I end up liking it a lot and I notice that it's on sale or something. But if you guys like what you see, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I usually do one beauty video and one uh, weekly vlog video per week. And I'm also thinking of doing Vlogmas, so yeah! Please subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I appreciate everybody who has been supporting me. And I will catch you guys in a later beauty video. Bye!